Hello, this is Bishop, and this is test number four of Autopilot version 2018-42.2 and the Navigate on Autopilot feature. Um, so to make this test a little bit more interesting, this is just another instance of me going to lunch, I'm going to go ahead and get all the way into the HOV lane. And it doesn't want me to be here. It is already suggesting and I get out of this lane, even though my exit is nowhere near. It's like another three or four exits down. Okay, this is interesting. So it's showing me the adjacent lane, which is a little unexpected, because it doesn't usually do that if it's a solid white. I want to see what happens if I confirm. Okay, so I confirm. Aha! Red line. It knows it shouldn't cross that line, so it is showing a red line. Interesting. Okay. It's waiting. Like, it's all poised, but it's not signaling. Oh, that's kind of cool. I've basically just given it permission to get out of the HOV lane. But it's not going to do it yet, because it knows it can't legally do it. Alright. That's interesting. So cool! So I guess we'll follow in the uh, HOV slash toll lane. I've got my transponder flipped to toll, so I'm not violating any HOV policies or anything like that. Uh, I do see a car is coming up behind me on my right. Hopefully he's not going to get too close alongside me by the time uh, the car actually decides that it's safe to change. Let's see what happens. Alright, so here's the dotted line. So what are you going to do? Ha <laughs> ha Look at that! Okay, that's good. Uh, uh, Change its mind. Okay. Why? <laughs> I don't know why I did that. Upcoming lane change. Yeah. Alright, do it. Okay. Are you going to change again, please? Because I don't want to hang out in the fast lane. If I'm not passing. Okay, I'm going to speed up a bit. Come on, car. Make me look bad. All right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get over. But I'll do it with an autopilot uh, driver-initiated lane change. Drop back down to the speed that I want to be cruising at. Sorry, guy. I was kind of hoping that it would get me over to the right, but it didn't seem to want to do that for some reason. Um, that's weird. See, in my experience, it mostly seems to really want to hug the right um, for most of the drives that I've done. Yeah, yeah, I'm touching it. My hand is on the wheel. Uh, but now I'm in the right-hand most lane, so we're passing the last exit before our exit. Um, let's see what it does. The car ahead of me is going slower, and it's not trying to get around that car, but the speed difference is not that significant, so... One of the things that I'm still wondering about with this is, I'm curious to know... My hand is on the wheel, chill out. I'm curious to know um, whether or not the car will get over to the left lane to navigate around cars that are in the right lane that are going slower. So if the car will basically like automatically pass, or if the only logic behind when it initiates lane changes is strictly for navigation purposes. Now when I was in the HOV lane, it did want me to get over one lane, but it didn't get me over two lanes. Like I'm not 100% clear on what its logic was for why I should be in that lane. I do have on my settings, use HOV lanes, so it shouldn't have any issue with me being in the HOV lane, but it still wanted me to get out for some reason. And then it didn't get me over to the right, which is the behavior that I've been seeing in most of these other tests. So I had to make it get over to the right so I could get out of the fast lane. Um, as for the exit that we are going to exit, uh, that is the one that is coming up here. Now, as I mentioned in the previous videos, the um, Navigate on Autopilot has been having difficulty, at least for me, with it seems like any exit that has a dedicated exit lane. Like, it doesn't seem to recognize the exit lane as being there, and it tries to take the highway exit at the point where the exit lane actually veers off from the highway. Like, it thinks it is a normal highway exit that doesn't have its own dedicated lane. And those are the ones that it's failing on because it never gets over to the exit lane, and then I have to basically take over and, and exit, usually a little bit too late, um, or let it go to the next exit and see what happens. 
So this one does not have a dedicated exit lane, it's just an exit. And this is the kind of exit that I have seen it successfully navigate, although I have not done this specific one. And I'm curious to see what's going to happen because the issue that we are seeing, I believe, is related to GPS data, meaning that if it fails in a given exit, it's probably going to fail on a given exit every time. So we're coming up on the exit. Autopilot unavailable in 600 feet. Are you going to... Up, 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 up. Look at that. That was pretty slick. Dun, dun, dun. And then it goes to normal autopilot once it gets on. So now normal autopilot's taking over and doing the tack thing of slowing down because it knows it's an exit, which was a feature that was added a few versions past. That's pretty cool. So even though it did the three chimes down, I'm going to have to take over here in a second. Although it's handling this section. Awesome. Actually yield. I'm good. You can go. Are you going to go? Oh, cool. It stopped at the intersection. Oh, check that out. <laughs> it stopped. So, interesting. So that's a yield. That's the point where normally I would have to stop because I'm entering an intersection. It actually stopped there. It came to a complete stop all on its own. Um, I'm going to have to go back and look at the footage later to make sure that I understand exactly what happened there. I don't know if it stopped because it didn't know what was going on or if it stopped because it realized that's the intersection and it should stop at the intersection. But that was pretty cool. Anyway, um, yeah, that was a successful test and that was looking pretty good. I do, I think it's kind of cool that it, um, it automatically flips down to normal autopilot from the navigator on autopilot. Uh, gives you a chance to take over. Even though it does the three tone down, it does not actually disengage autopilot as that might imply. Um, but instead, it just gives you the chance to take over. But all right, this was a so out of what have now been four recorded tests, and I've seen it work before, just not on on film. Um, what have out of what have been four recorded tests, this is the first time I've actually seen it successfully work. Um, I know on my way home it probably will not work, so I'm not going to record that one again because I've already caught that one a few times um, because the exit that I take to get to my house does have a dedicated lane and it doesn't seem to understand how to deal with that on its own. But um, I don't know. I'll try and navigate an autopilot, maybe do a, a driver initiated lane change and see if that makes a difference. But um, yeah, definitely more testing needs to be done. I think Tesla still needs to work on this feature. It's brand new, you know, and, and they don't have the automatic confirmation on, obviously, because it looks like there's still some work to be done Although it seems like most of that work that needs to be done is around GPS data. So, you know, maybe this is something that'll get fixed in one massive swoop of GPS data update, or maybe it's something that'll slowly trickle out to different areas over time. But either way, um, this was a successful test, and thanks for watching.